welcome, Dora. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Julie. Thank you so much for having me here. We're so excited that you're going to be part of our anthology, uh, Storyteller, a uh, Tanithly Tribute anthology. But I wanted to talk to you today about your writing, your connection to her work, and just about anything else you'd like to talk about. What impact has Tanith Lee had on you as a writer? Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna take you back to the days when they were malls. Uh, so there were malls, do you remember <laughs> malls? And then we used to go to the malls. And do you remember when there were bookstores in malls? Do and there I was ever. no internet. No internet and no big Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Really. Yeah, this was before Barnes and Noble. And there were there were um, still chain bookstores because there were chain bookstores in the mall. And just like nowadays, there were the there were different sections. Uh, and I was a teenager. This was um, I was growing up. I was a teenager in Loudoun County, Virginia. And so our local mall was called the White Flint Mall. And uh, in there they had a bookstore. And sure enough, the bookstore had a fantasy and science fiction section. And I would go there uh, as often as possible because, you know, there was no internet. What were you going to do? You were going to hang out at the mall. So we went and hung out at the mall. Um, and we always went to see what had just been published and what was in the science fiction and fantasy section. And there were four writers that I always looked for. So they? they were Ursula Gwynn and McCaffrey because Dragon Riders, of course. Yes. Um, Patricia McKillop and Tanith Lee. And those four women writers, it, actually in my most recent book, I think that the, um, what is that thing called at the beginning where you're like, this book is for so-and-so. I, I, the dedication? I'm pretty sure, I have to look, but I'm pretty sure that I made it to them because without those four writers, I wouldn't be the writer that I am now. And there were other writers that influenced me, but right then, when I was a teenager, right when I was starting to write, those were the four writers. And I got different things from each of them. And I have to tell you one more thing. Mm -hmm. um, I can't find it. I was looking for it, but um, I was writing Tanith Lee fan poetry. Oh. based on some of her characters as a teenager. And I still have that. I still have those handwritten oh. poems somewhere, oh but God. I don't That's know That's amazing. You need yeah. to find them. I don't, I, you don't need to publish them, but if I ever see them, oh, I do no. want to read them. Oh, no. They, you don't I would love to, to see them. them. <laughs> no, no. I was, what, 17? Oh, mm. but it's so sweet. It's like, there's actually somewhere on the internet is a Tanith Lee story she wrote when she was about seven that's a, that was released out into the world. And it's uh -huh. like, even though she's a small child, you can still see her personality yeah. in that. And I bet with your poem, that would be the same thing, you know? I think that's true. I think you can see the writer that I eventually became right in that little yeah. poem and right in the influence that... I was getting from her. I actually have to say that I find it interesting that you were able to take, you know, science fiction and fantasy. And I, am I right in thinking that you read short fiction as much as novels? Um, I did actually, which I think is unusual probably. Um, but I did read a lot of short fiction and there's a particular book of hers um, that was super influential. I, you might even guess which one it is. <laughs> I'm not going to guess. I'm going to have you tell me. Okay. Um, it was called, I actually looked up the title because um, I, I was trying to remember exactly what the wording was, but it's, um, I wrote it down here. Hang on. I have very Is it the Sisters Grimmer? Things. Of course it was. Retta's Because blood, that's on my bookshelf. Sisters Grimmer. Huh? I own that book still. I kept it. I'm sure you do. Of course you do. <laughs> and um, it's interesting because those of us who were influenced by fairy tale retellings, a lot of people say, oh, I was so influenced by Angela Carter. I don't know about you, but I didn't discover Angela Carter until much later. I mean, Angela Carter yes. was someone that I actually read maybe in college and maybe even okay. after college because uh, her stuff was not necessarily available in the local bookstore, but Tanith Lee's 
Tales from the Sisters Grimmer was absolutely available. And so um, my, my own impulse to retell fairy tales and the way that I think about fairy tales and fairy tale retellings came from two sources. One was Tanith Lee and the other was the Ellen Datlow, Terry Windling uh, fairy tale retelling series, which published some of Tanith Lee's yeah, short books. Yeah. So yeah, so, oh, so yes. that was the way that I got it. It wasn't necessarily from what was happening in the UK. This is uh, in terms of um, some of the other stuff that was going on. I mean, uh, Kenneth Lee was a British writer and her stuff was coming yep. over here, but that that was the stuff that was coming to the US. 